I was actually pissed off for a long time. I was not ready for him to leave, you know. He was totally in my heart, totally in my being. When you truly accept a master into your heart, they move in. You still got all your personality and all your decisions and all that sort of stuff, but your consciousness, if you accept them in your heart and into your awareness, they, t- the, what he used to say is that the master takes responsibility for the disciple. Absolutely. It, it isn't that he's going to tell you what to do, I mean, especially after he's dead, but he never was about telling you what to do. It was about him sharing the space, mm-hmm. sharing the energy. So you could imbibe his vibe, yeah. literally his vibration, his energy. And that was really powerful for me. And then when he was gone, I was just, I was still, the part of me, the part of me that was still identified with stuff, you know, I was, I just was, I was actually pissed off for a long time. I was not ready for him to leave, you know? Yeah. But that was what, that was one of the reasons I think he left. So we would be thrown back on ourselves Mm -hmm. and then we would do what he wanted to do. And what he wanted me to do was to share his vision in America. And I've done that some over the years, but then when wild, wild country hit, I'm basically a loner. Okay. I'm I've always been basically a loner. The whole commune idea had very little interest for me. I really liked having my own place to live and going to nice restaurants and driving my Mercedes and, Ba 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 ba. I have. I was. I used to be a cook by trade. I like to cook. The idea of sleeping on some fucking cot or something had no no attraction to me at all. But when you when you give your heart to somebody, you know you find like people find themselves moving somewhere they wouldn't move otherwise because their husband or wife or beloved has a job somewhere. You know you do stuff you know, yeah. to be close to stay close to whoever it is you love. And that was it. I ch- my life changed because I opened myself up to do. My life became whatever I could do to support his work, but also still my own stupid interests and neurosis, you know, good food and wine, NFL, that sort of stuff. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time. Have a beautiful, blessed day.